on the border. Thousands of migrants continue to cross the border, about half of them from Venezuela. This after the Department of Homeland Security is now expelling Venezuelans who cross illegally. KDSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live near the U.S.-Mexico border. And Shelby, how many are being sent back? Yeah, well, Carla, Border Patrol telling us the number that's crossing now on average is 2,100. And of those migrants, 1,000 are from Venezuela. And I spoke with the El Paso County judge, and he tells me that the number that is being expelled at this point in time is small, and he's not expecting it to make a huge impact on these large numbers we've been seeing. I'm not really optimistic uh, that it's going to be a solution. Uh, it's only a temporary solution. Uh, but but not uh, not something that we feel that now the numbers are going to go down. We still are going to have to mitigate some large numbers. That's a migrant problem. Border Patrol taking us through the area where they are processing migrants. So seeing uh, nationals from Nicaragua and Colombia, Cuba, and Brazil, we're also we're uh, seeing a mix here, but again, the majority of these uh, migrants that we're encountering are from Venezuela. A man from Venezuela crossing between ports of entry and going through processing says he is aware he may be expelled and has concerns. Me siento vulnerable. I feel vulnerable to be alone, to go to the other side, to send me over there. How do I go back through what I went through, especially through the jungle? That's what I asked myself. How do I go back? Now, DHS did announce a legal pathway for 24,000 Venezuelans to come to the U.S., but if they cross illegally, they are ineligible and will be expelled. Now, Congresswoman Veronica Escobar saying she is for more legal pathways, but not for the expulsion of migrants. I believe Title 42 uh, puts migrants at risk um, by rapidly expelling them. We have seen in the past that with Title 42, there's what is called recidivism which is when migrants are rapidly expelled in one area, they will simply move to another area and try again. Now, when Border Patrol did take us down to the border today where those migrants are crossing, we did not see any migrants being expelled. But when we spoke with the county judge, the number, the example he gave us of how many are being sent back to Mexico was between 50 to 60. Reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.